Amen. Thank you, praise team. What a great praise team. If that, if that doesn't bring a smile to your face, I don't know what will. My name is Dave Shields. Uh, I know most of you, some of you I don't, but I go to second service primarily. But after listening to that, it just encourages me to go to both services. Uh, you know, that second song, Forgiveness, I mean, the Bible tells us, you know, how can we expect the Lord to forgive us if we can't forgive those around us? So, amen. Good job. Uh, Matt and Dan asked me to uh, come and speak a little bit about the values and priorities of Jersey Baptist Church, how they came to be and how we've lived into them over these past many years. Um, about five or six years ago, we went through a transition. Uh, we had a pastor leave. We had an interim pastor came in. He led us uh, several exercises, one of which was to you know, just refocus on our values and priorities. And we had good, strong values and priorities at the time. Don't, don't misunderstand, but uh, you know, just to refocus. And the way we went about that is the whole congregation was involved. Everybody who wanted to participate was able to participate. And we, you know, three, four Sundays, I can't remember how many. It was over a several month period of time. I think there was some food involved. That usually, you know, brings in a few extra people. I think that's one of our values here is you know, raw food. Um, but we, we came up with, uh, you know, mission and vision, um, values and priorities. So I just want to talk a little bit about how we've lived into that. And, you know, there's a lot of overlap between these. Um, so you'll hear me repeat a few things, and, and I'm sure I'm going to miss a few things because there's a lot going on in this church and more than I can keep up with. And uh, so I'll, I'll probably re re repeat a few. If you look on the, uh, and I, I may be turned around, I think uh, the left side, the top five values of JBC, you know, these, these are just happen chance. You know, worship and Bible study is at the top of the list for a reason. You know, that was our number one value, was to come and worship and to study the Bible. Uh, that's, what, that's what leads us and guides us, is the Word of God. You know, we look to God. We look to God when we came up with these, with these values and priorities, and we continue to look to God today. You know, we have to look to God to lead us, and, you know, the Bible is the Word. So we study that, uh, you know, we come together every Sunday morning and, and late. Um, to, to worship, we uh, you know study the Bible during worship. We have Sunday school uh, every Sunday morning, and then Wednesday night, uh, you know, there's a Bible study that goes on. So you know, a lot going on with worship and Bible study, and and that's our number one value of, of Jersey Baptist Church: unity. What you know, mission trips. You look outside these church vans, that's something that you know has just come about in the last few years. That's to help you know promote unity so we can get out and do different activities, different groups. Uh, the mission trips, which I probably just mentioned. I look at choir and praise team. You know, they the unity of those teams um, and they, they bring us together with song and generosity, you know, just giving of time, uh, you know, giving of finance, the blessing box out here, you know, so many things that uh, the generosity, but the giving of time, I mean, I look around the church, I've been involved with Jersey Baptist Church about 15 years now, and just different individuals that I, you know, here at the church just give their time for so many things, and, and I'll mention a few of those in a, in a minute, uh, welcoming spirit. I mean, there was a lot of emphasis put on welcoming spirit because, you know, we're here to serve the community. You know, we we want to you know spread the mission. And Matt talked last week about the uh, the mission of Jesus, and uh, you know he 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 focused our attention. And um, you know the mission of Jesus is to spread the good news and to help each other grow and, and to follow Jesus uh, to become closer to God through you know accepting and knowing Jesus as our Lord and Savior. So the welcoming spirit, you know, there's been a lot of work done here at Jersey Baptist Church over the last many years for that. We uh, came up with a committee, we uh, welcoming committee, a welcome center. We did a lot of painting, a lot of signage. 
I mean, there was a lot of effort to, you know, to help uh, whenever somebody walks in the door that doesn't, has never been to Jersey Baptist Church, just to make them feel at home. Um, brochures, um, just, just a lot of things. Uh, one thing with that is the website. You know, we developed a website, um, YouTube. Uh, I don't even know all that new social media stuff because I don't deal with it, but LinkedIn and all that stuff. I mean, we have a lot of gifted people that have been doing a lot of work in that area because that, you know, that helps welcome people to our church. A lot of the people in the community, you know, they get their information through those, those social media means. Um, Loving, serving, and supporting. You know, that's the, the one of the things that a church is does is we love each other, support each other in that mission to follow Jesus. Um, you know, some of the ways we live into that, we have pastoral care. Um, you know, those that, that need pastoral care, we you know, we reach out either through the deacons, through the pastor. We have Stephen's ministry, you look on the boards. We have family counseling. We feed the homeless. We have uh, prison ministry. I mean, just a lot of different things to uh, love and serve and support each other in the community around us. So then talk a few minutes about the priorities. Um, you know, the values, they, they kind of plant the seeds. And then the priorities are kind of how we harvest and how we stay on track. And again, you see worship and Bible study right at the top of the list. You know, again, that's that's the that's that's the one of the primary the primary thing. Uh, community community ministry and mission. Again, the website, the sermons that we have, YouTube, Fall Festival. I say sermons, you know, we post we record and post a sermon out on the website so that those for whatever reason can't come and be with us here at Sunday service, they can access that. Um, pastoral care again, Stephen Ministry, Al-Anon, uh, prison ministry, ministry with and to families. You know, we're a family of believers that support each other. We have, uh, you know, youth discipleship, Awana, uh, just so many things. And then the informal social d discipleship, the Wednesday night, Sunday in between our services, we have a fellowship. You know, the vans outside, they promote fellowship. So just, you know, a lot of things. And again, I'm sure I left out more than a few things because there's just so much going on here. And so just to, you know, summarize real quick, um, you know, the, the mission is to come to know Jesus, accept Jesus, follow Jesus, share His good news to the community. And, and be here for any of those who want to participate with us in, in that uh, mission. Um, you know, this church has been in existence now for um, two, over 250 years. I could, you know, we're in our, our, our third, whatever you call it, 100 years. But, uh, and, and I know Matt has preached. Um, you know, we didn't. We don't. We do things different today than we did 250 years ago, and we'll do things different tomorrow than we did five years ago. So we have to grow with with the community around us, and um, so you know, there's been some some uh, discussion among Matt and the deacons um, about you know what what do we need to do now and so next week uh, Andy Smith is going to go, come for us and she's going to talk about some of the things we've been doing as far as next steps um, for us to look at as a, as a church and uh, I appreciate your time thank you